Hello everyone in Cyber World. Welcome back to another video. I'm Richard. And I'm Jennifer. And this is our channel we call Poor Man's DIY. This week we are in our spare bedroom, the last closet that we have to enclose. we have seen many homes that have closet doors that are either bifolds or the mere sliding doors. Um, we decided to do a, a different concept today. Yeah, the idea on the mirror doors and the bifolds are just so outdated to us and we wanted to do something different as she had mentioned. Um, what we're going to be doing is installing something here that we have done in one of our other homes. Um, but uh, the main reasons for it is the bifold doors and the sliding doors don't necessarily open up and give you full access to the closet. Uh, we definitely need more, uh, more availability to our closet because one of the things is we built this ironing board um, pull out ironing board in here some time back and so we want to make sure we have a, a way to access this easily. So we're going to show you what we do here that's going to be different from most. But before you do that, hit that subscribe button below or leave us a comment or hit that like. Now to give you a little more details of exactly what we're going to do. Uh, one of the things that we were looking at originally in the closet was to kind of find something that was a little bit inexpensive, uh, the poor man's way. Uh, doing some research on the internet, we have noticed that there were a lot of people who actually put up curtain rods on their in front of their, their closets and they hung some very nice curtains. And indeed this would save a lot of money and it looked pretty decent but it just quite wasn't what we were looking for. But we like the concept of what they're doing, so instead of using curtains for windows, they use it on the closet. And we thought, well, if you can use a curtain, why not use vertical shades? So that's what we did, and this is how we're going to actually install that. We ordered our shades from Blinds.com, but this is not a sponsored video from them. If you go to their website, they will show you how to take measurements to customize your shades. The first step we're going to do is we're going to install some brackets on the top of the, the closet here. Uh, this has to start off with uh, three to four inches from the end. We're going to uh, mark these and then drill them in and then eventually the uh, brace uh, that holds the uh, shades will be snapped into the brackets. We didn't tighten the bolt all the way because it might have to do some adjusting so that we can snap in the, the rail uh, properly at once we've added all four brackets to the top. Now we take the uh, head rail here we hook it into the top part and snap it into place on the brackets. Looking good. Grip one end with a pair of pliers, then snap on the wheels. Alright, the next step is we're going to be hanging this into the rail up top. However, this we've decided to go with the, the shade that is going to open from right and close all the way to the left. So that means this side will move freely, but this side will be mounted to the wall and become stationary. In order to do that, there's a bracket that comes with this, this uh, project here, and it has to be either screwed into the wall or into the floor. 
Unfortunately, we have baseboards that protrude quite a bit, so we're, we're going to have to cut the baseboards so that this will be able to be mounted flush up against the wall. Richard versus Baseball Fight! K.O. Richard wins. Now this here is something that's not addressed in the instructions itself, but it is actually critical. There's a piece here that is actually going to be mounted to the floor or the wall, which will keep the, um, the, the side of the rail uh, mounted so that it doesn't move. Now, the instructions show this is kind of one of the last things that, that is installed. However, this actually goes into the bottom of the shade itself, and then it's gonna be screwed. Now, all the other instructions show that you mount the shade onto the, uh, the rail up top. Once you do that, there is no space on the bottom for you to insert this into the bottom of the, uh, the actual shade. So you must, absolutely positively must, install this on the bottom of the shade and install the rest of the shade before you even mount this to the floor. Critical. Here is what I'm talking about. This is the bottom of the shade itself. There's a small hole there. As you can see, this bracket requires a couple inches of space in order to be able to insert this. Now, if you measure your shades and they go to the very bottom of the floor, there's no way that you can force this in there once this has already been mounted. So you absolutely positively must insert this first, and then you have holes that will allow you to screw it into the floor later when it's done installing. All right now, this side is going to be mounted against the wall. There are two hooks and there are two holes, which Mrs. Poor Man noticed. And these hooks are simply going to sit inside. Now, now that it's in place, there's actually a screw right here. The screw we're going to screw in, which will put it farther in, to the, to the rail itself in here. It doesn't hold anything in place. It just simply keeps you from taking this particular part off. Now that we've got this mounted uh, on the top and it's not gonna move, the clips that we added earlier is actually just rollers that are gonna allow it to slide back and forth. We now have to hook those into the rails on top. Now we have all the rails, uh, the, the wheels mounted against the rail here. And so now we're going to have this sliding, the mobile side of this hooked up. There are two holes here. There's a bolt that will run through there and hold it into place. And this slides back and forth. And the last step is to install the handle. Ta-da!
have it our new closet door. It's not the traditional way, but we like it very much, and it's a poor man's way. Yep, uh, this turned out really well, and like she said, it is not the normal way of making a closet door, but hey, why not? We like the look, it works out really well for us. Next week, who knows what we're gonna do. So until we meet again. Bye-bye.